What's up land of YouTube? This is Dylan with breakingbolts.com. If you haven't already, check out my website, breakingbolts.com. You can go on there and get a free sticker. Uh, anyways, we're gonna go over update number three for my Jeep YJ one ton LS swap build. Really simple build, but a lot of things have changed. So let's get into that quickly now. All right, number one is the front axle is almost completely shaved. Uh, lots of suffering. If you're curious, you can shave a front axle with a sawzall and a grinder. Don't be scared. If this is holding you back, just find all the crappy sawzall blades in your shop and start to cutting, and you'll quickly find it's not as bad as everybody says. Uh, so far, to get it to this point, I'm about three hours in. Um, so just get to it. Let's move on to the rear axle. You might see the rear axle has a truss on it. So um, some things have changed with the YJ. Uh, we're gonna go four link in the rear now. And you'll see the, the rear truss and then this is the upper control arm link brackets that welds to the top of this truss. Now the reason I went four link in the front is I wasn't getting to my total stretch distance I wanted. So at first I was like, yeah, hey, let's get the Jeep to around 100 wheelbase, you know, 98 to 100 wheelbase. That changed. I want to go between 106 and 110, and we're going to achieve that with the rear four link and the front three link. Uh, here's the big kicker. Uh, my buddy had a really nice subframe, kind of like the one Moto Built offers, where it has uh, in instead with the Moto Built you have four link front, four link rear. This bracket has three link front and four link rear, and he gave me a great deal on it. Uh, I want to take you outside to look at the current condition of the YJ now. All right, so step one of the build is coming to an end now. The only thing that needs to go is this cage, and I've decided this windshield is gonna stay. So once that cage is gone, step one of the YJ build is complete. That will bring us into phase two, which is suspension. Well, we'll have this as a roller chassis at the end of stage two. Uh, so axles underneath, uh, three link and four link on the rear. Um, ev everything will be done with stage two except cool springs and uh, shock brackets. I just need to get this to a rolling point and then we can move on to stage three, which is painting the tub. Uh, so we'll get the front and rear axles on, three link on the front, four link in the rear, and we'll set a four inch block between the axle and the frame here and ratchet strap it and then we'll take this tub off bring it inside and we'll strip it down to uh, base metal and the wife is saying she wants to paint it rose gold i don't know if that's going to stick um, but that's what she's saying she wants now so you can see here i kind of have uh, i was going to go with both sides i don't think i'm going to go both sides anymore i'm just going to do regular corner guards here and then on the rear um, I'm taping it out to cut comp cut the rear to make room for that rear stretch I want to show you this uh, subframe real quick all right so you can see subframe here and it's this bracket it bolts up to the original transfer case mounting location uh, you see here that's your lower control arm mount at a 20 degree angle and I have 20 degree axle mounts ordered for this and then the rear four link is just straight, uh, but the frame kind of kicks it to a 10 degree angle anyways. So we'll get uh, uh, great angles for the lower control arm links. And then this right here is the uh, upper control arm link for the front. Um, Craw Works, I'm working with uh, my buddy at Craw Works. He's getting my links done, my axle brackets, and then I also need a um, frame side panhard bar bracket here so he's going to get those shipped out to me this week and well next week he's going to get those shipped out and then by the end of next week we should be uh, in rolling chassis form this this uh, subframe slash belly pan came with the other side and it just has that 20 degree lower control arm length uh, lower control arm 
right here and then a straight uh, lower control arm for the rear and then obviously on both sides here and here we'll have the upper control arm brackets now that's kind of it for update number three lots have got done um, hopefully within the next two weeks we'll be a rolling chassis on suspension we can move on to paint um, add some body panels and stuff front and rear bumper and then the project's kind of gonna, gonna get on hold uh, just due to funds. Cause right now we're just cash, strictly cash flowing the project based on selling parts from uh, the rock crawler tub and, tub and frame. Um, I would love to get footage for, you know, actually doing the work on these axles and actually mocking up the suspension. Uh, I'm gonna try to do better with that, but I write at least two posts a day on the website full-time job and I have uh, some other um, some other commitments uh, I need to take care of along with wife three kids house payment you know all the adult stuff so wheels and tires those are stage seven uh, the final stage of this build will be uh, new wheels and tires and I, th I think the guy I'm working with, with is called Go Forth Tires out of Tennessee. So he's gonna hook me up with the 43 inch TSL non-stickies and then some, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna keep the 16 and a half beadlock military Humvee tire uh, wheels or if I'm gonna go to a, a different style. Um, but that's Q4. Uh, Q3 is finish, uh, finish suspension, uh, get paint done on this, make it look pretty get the cage done, get the dash done, uh, get the center console done, start plugging in some wires. And then I already have a line on my 5.3 turbo 350 and I'm going MP205 for the drivetrain. So that's stage five. Uh, stage five is drivetrain and we'll get that all installed, motor mounts installed, cross member installed. And then we'll actually pull it all back out because the 5.3 needs to be refreshed. The turbo 350 is actually fine. I'm gonna have it gone through just a case. And then the MP205 needs to be completely gone through um, just to be on the safe side. So build completion as far as this rig on its first trail is looking like uh, cool, uh, Q2 of 2022. Uh, so we got a lot of work ahead of us that might change. I might get some crazy bonus checks that will allow me to accelerate this project. But for now, for, but for now we'll just be in the white YJ and putter around town, go on date nights, go out to dinner and, you know, do a little bit of off-roading with it. But that's update number three. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. If you haven't already, check out breakingbolts.com. Get your free sticker. Wait, you'll get two stickers actually, one for a friend and one for you. Um, I appreciate all the support. I wouldn't be on YouTube if no one wanted me here. So uh, a, a couple of you, at least a couple of you want to see this project. So enjoy.